Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times, Reminisces. Uh, quite a while ago now, somebody asked for um, me to uh, look at Chaos Ritual and um, Mare. Uh, and I did Chaos Ritual um, uh, a while ago now. And because they asked so nicely, I thought I'd best do Mare as well. Um, or uh, uh, as much as um, to fulfil their wishes uh, as to... Um, no, that's not what I mean. As much to satisfy my own curiosity than to uh, fulfil their wishes, because um, it's a familiar name, and I can't say hand on heart that I've heard them before. I'm, you know, part of me says I must have done at some point, but because um, um, it all rings bells. But um, uh, <laughs> musically, I can't, I can't think that I have. But anyway, uh, regardless, we're going to listen to it, um, and. Um, at some point I might have an epiphany and realise, yes, I've heard it before, but uh, I don't think I will. Let's go. So we started off, um, <laughs> first thing is when I hear the sort of monk sing at the beginning of a, of a track, um, I sort of get wary because um, it, by and large it either means we're going to have something totally dire or um, conversely something um, quite inspiring. Uh, very rarely is there anything in between, but um, it started off like that and, and gone a bit Sabbathy initially, but it is now... Um, Sort of, sort of moving away from a Sabbath sound into something a little bit, um, I wouldn't say darker. Yeah, yeah, I would actually, because, um, you know, times have moved on. It sounds a little bit darker, and um, it, um, it's, it's moving away from that sort of doominess. Yeah. <laughs>
a sense of change coming on. But um, <laughs> the most interesting thing for me, or two things really here, that so far is that the drums, the drums, um, the tempo of the drums is that where I, it's on the cusp of me uh, being turned off by the music. There is a, um, a galloping drum beat, which very often um, just grates with me. And this is... Um, um rather adeptly probably uh avoiding um falling into that sort of typical black metal gallop that um just bugs me uh it, it, it's not it's not that it it's the same sort of tempo um forgive my technical ineptitude here but it's the same sort of tempo without sounding like a gallop in in that sense um the other thing is um uh, the vocals um refreshingly different i guess uh, insofar as uh, it's, you know they are uh, that sort of persetalizing tone to them damning you to hell and uh, all sorts of unpleasantness um so um so far so good i did just as i stopped it it was about it seemed like it's about to change in tone so let's see if i'm right because i have listened to before i have listened to this um, a couple of times but it was a while ago now again uh somebody some magazine or online sort of magazine or some such um what am i trying to say somebody <laughs> somebody goes what's the uh, what's the most evil music in the world blah, blah 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 bollocks and it's all bollocks isn't it because um whenever they publish their lists and what have you i go they're not evil <laughs> they don't sound evil um and uh obviously the one or two that do um or at least paint a picture of um the subject matter being about evil but um very few actually hit that mark of being evil sounding um in my opinion anyway um and um the point I'm trying to make i suppose is that here we are getting into that sort of um into those grounds where you could say you know um if you want to hear evil sounding music um you are get, getting there with this um i've yet to i'll be careful here because my memory is so poor that i could probably name the songs that i would describe as sounding genuinely evil in a sort of biblical sense maybe um i could probably count them on one hand um that's without only stricter criteria what i mean by that but um this is definitely uh heavy on the sinister side and uh, yes probably get into the realms of um, evil sounding so uh yes is there anything you want to say about that no there isn't let's crack on <laughs>
I think um, very often uh, album covers don't really convey the music they're in, but I think this one does definitely. You've got that sort of basilisk there, sort of a basaltic, a basilisk maybe. Um, it looks as if it's um, um, certainly born from volcanic activity, um, and it um, it's dark and brooding, which this music certainly is. Um, there's a starkness to it, and um, I suppose the the fog in the background, the mist, probably more uh, more accurately, is. Um, it's not too prevalent in the music itself because it, as I say, it, the, the music has a starkness, but it's not that murkiness that uh, I love in, in music. But it, the um, there's a brittleness, so yeah, forget about any fog or mist analogies. <laughs> I don't think they're made out here, but uh, certainly there's a darkness um, without a doubt. So there you go, looking at the album cover, this is a case of Darkness Ascends. Um, but um, yes, it is, um, it is, it does, make, it does make you think of cowled individuals, cowled beings walking around. There was a, um, I can't remember exactly who it was now, but I remember watching a, um, a comedian, um, I think it might have been Bill Bailey, but uh, they um, sort of um, demonstrated how certain chord progressions inherently sound evil <laughs> excuse me and um at the end of this um this track that chord progression is exactly the same as he uh, illustrated um in how to make evil sounding music so um yeah i'm not sure to be honest whether um this is my cup of tea as far as black matter is concerned um Without listening to the whole album, um, it'd be unfair to make a um, a generalised comment as to whether Mayor and my thing or not. But um, the uh, that track is interesting, um, but it didn't gel enough for me to uh, really. If I was in you know in a buying mood, I wouldn't uh, necessarily be um, picking this one over something else. But nonetheless, um, it. Um, an intriguing listen, um, at the very least. <laughs> I'm not trying to waffle here. Uh, it is, I'd, ha I'd happily listen to that any day, but uh, whether I buy it is a different matter. Anyway, clicky bollocks, catch you next time. Cheerio.